Who is in agreement with whom? Is it clear that this is anything more than just a, another opening salvo? It seems right now the administration is in agreement with itself and nothing beyond that. Uh, what uh, Larry Kudlow, the president's top economic advisor, came out and said that him, the Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin, and the president had agreed on a $1.8 trillion offer that they're going to then take to Speaker Nancy Pelosi, whose offer still stands at $2.2 trillion. So there's still a $400 billion gap there. And that you know leaves out even the possibility that this would be uh, something appetizing for Senate Republicans who have expressed even less appetite for a new round of stimulus. Why is Mitch McConnell being so coy? He says that his priority, obviously, is SCOTUS, but we've known that. Wouldn't it be to his benefit to also allow stimulus to happen? It would possibly benefit some of the vulnerable members in his conference, but there are a number of other Senate Republicans who believe there has already been enough stimulus and they don't want to approve any more. And Mitch McConnell is a politician who isn't going to move ahead with something unless his party is unified around it. And he might be wary of intra-Republican fighting leading up to the election here in the U.S. in just three weeks. Do we have any idea on when, if at all, really, the House Speaker and Treasury Secretary Mnuchin will speak? Political reporting that there's going to be work all weekend on this. But where is the political will to actually get this done? It seems like it's been to the Democrats' advantage to not have anything go ahead. And, and certainly, if McConnell isn't on board, the only person who does seem to be looking for this at this point is President Trump again. That's right. And, you know, we're expecting the, the Speaker and the Treasury Secretary to get together, at least over the phone, this afternoon to restart these talks. But you, you pointed out something good, which is that yeah, there is not to appear to be this major momentum toward a stimulus agreement before the election, despite today's news. You know, the president just, you know, two days ago or yesterday said that he was pulling out of talks, and now he's leaning back in with an even bigger proposal. Uh, by pulling out of talks, he diminishes leverage with his own party. As I mentioned before, there are a lot of Republicans who don't want even any stimulus at all, let alone a $1.8 trillion package. So I think Republicans right now are asking, where's the president's head at? And that's not the stage where you can be at if you want to get a big sweeping bipartisan deal, uh, something that would really be unprecedented just weeks before an election. There's a little bit of confusion as to what will happen as well next week. The one thing that we do know is going ahead, unless something else intervenes, are the hearings for Amy Coney Barrett's nomination to the Supreme Court. But President Trump, for example, now, according to sources to Bloomberg, will not travel this weekend. That's after saying that he wanted to do a rally this weekend. He won't travel until at least Monday, according to sources to Bloomberg. He's been on the media. I mean, almost nonstop for the last 24 to 48 hours. What can we anticipate next week from the president? Well, he, the president and his aides are indicating that he wants to get back on the road as early as next week. That they're citing this letter approved by the White House physician saying you know, the president could be cleared to travel as soon as Saturday. But we still don't know a lot of key facts about the president's health, such as is he still contagious? Uh, has he tested negative at all? Uh, when, in fact, was his last negative test before he tested positive so we can figure out when he was first exposed and, and who he might have exposed and who exposed him? There's still a lot of unknown questions about his health, but the president and his aides are painting this very rosy picture and uh, saying that he's trying to get back on the road possibly as soon as Monday.